We're getting a new champion. Twilight Protector. Big strong Nico coming through. It's actually Nico. It's the wrong words there. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I only stepped for two two hours, two, two and a half. So let's say it's it's two hours into two and a half hours. We add them up, divide them by two, because it was two segments. Fuck math. Anyways, uh, new champ, new cards. Very excited. Absolutely excited. So, let's... Uh, let's... Fuck all of this, let's get back. Let's cut the music. We just check the cards. I'm tired. This will be like a really freaking funny stream. So... Shit, you saw my analytics. Did you see my analytics? No, you didn't. Yes, you did. Fuck. Anyway. We're getting a new champion, Twilight Protector. Big strong Nico coming through! It's actually Nico. It's actually Nico. Yes, I know the, the freaking Arabic joke you want to tell. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. This is a family friendly Christian stream, so don't say that joke. If you know what joke I'm talking about, don't say it. Okay, she is a Runeterra, she, she's a shapeshifter. That's a new tag. That's a new tag. Okay, 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 okay. So, she is a shapeshifter. Origin. Mini shape jungle friends. Let's, let's focus on origin first. Mini shape, mini shape jungle friends. You may put bird, cat, dog, elnock, fey, reptile, spider followers in your team. Back. So it so it goes beyond bird, cat, dog, reptile. You can add Ilnuk, Fey, and Spider. That opens a lot of possibilities. Holy fuck! That opens a lot of possibilities. Okay. Uh, shapeshifter, Nico, origin, this one, you can add a lot of followers, okay, okay, it's only followers, I needed to make sure. You may disguise me as one of three two-cost followers from my origin, level up attack, you've attacked with allies that have six different subs, so this is a subtype dog, good, okay, so my suspicions are correct, I didn't see the leaks, my suspicions that she is a subtype so, she is an aggro. What happens when she levels up? Nico is making her own tribe now. <laughs> Nico is making her own tribe now. Okay, what? Uh, uh, I, uh, should I start guessing? Should I start guessing? I'll guess. Well, I saw that she has a uh, she, she buffs the entire board. Does she buff herself based on how many? Does she do a Jax? She buffs herself based off how many tribes you're attacking with. I'm, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say she buffs herself plus one plus one for each tribe you're attacking with once she levels up. So she is disguised until she levels up. Also, the, the theme song is Enwa Enwa Enwa. Yes, what? I haven't slept all day. Please don't shout my name at my face. What is it? Hi, hi, how you doing? Also, uh, the theme song playing right now is uh, Nidalee ex Nico official theme, Shine On, which is. Just saying. Just saying. The ship is scanning. If it helps or slithers, it's my kind of critter. Give them 
the angry day of Rawr! You can get a Weapon Master as well. Weapon Master is a tribe. Holy fuck. Weapon Master is a tribe. I didn't consider Weapon Master to be a tribe. Well, I forgot that Elnuk and Fey exist as well. There's a lot of tribes in, in Residence of Runeterra. Now that I think of it, like, clearly, there are a lot of tribes. Okay, Nico level up here. That shit. No, 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 not not opening somebody else's uh, video. Nope. I refuse. I like Snowy, but I'm not opening his video. Not on stream. We're not getting in trouble. That was a good level up animation. Not the best. Grant allies that have a subtype everywhere plus one plus one. Attack! That, that that's that 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 can get ugly very fast. Holy frick! I should actually just finish. Oop. So each time she attacks, she grants allies with subtypes plus one plus one. Give me the OTB code you just received. What OTB? What did you send? When did you send me? On mobile, I got nothing. I got nothing. Fuck Amazon, I got absolutely nothing. I'm like looking here, nothing. Are you using my phone number to buy shit again, dude? You are. You are. Friends. My friend. Yes, of course you're using my phone number to buy stuff. Holy friend. My friends are assholes. They're using my phone number to buy stuff. Please tell me you're gonna do it. Jeez. You're gonna buy six toys using my phone and address. At least tell me so I can get my own. Caught in current, caught in four fucking game. Okay, Nico. Attack grant allies that have a subtype plus one plus one. This is insane. And the fact that she stays hidden the entire time, this is also insane. Like this this is actually very, very cool. I love it. Because you can continuously buff stuff up. But once you get one attack with Nico, that's good. You get one attack with Nico. So you buff everything plus one plus one, which is already good. Like it's, it, that's already great. But then they will try to kill her immediately before you attack again. If you get another attack in, you give everything in your. Well, technically you want to play all units with subtypes. Nico, so you get everything plus two plus two now. If you can get some free attacks with her, that'd be amazing. I don't think you can get a free. Can you play Nico? A no. Yes, no. Thinking. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Because I'm still saying that Nico Noxus aggro is the way to go. I'm I'm calling it. Nico Noxus aggro becoming the new spider aggro. But maybe you can actually go for Nico Vein combo thing. But I don't think it would be, it wouldn't be worth it. Can you get enough subtypes with Vayne? You can. You can get enough subtypes with Vayne. Especially because Nico by herself gives you access to subtypes. But then you'd only run Vayne for that one combo. Hydrate, yeah? Okay, sure. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm, I'm rambling, but I'm, I'm really focusing on how to use this champion to her full potential. Because a deck-wide buff every time she attacks is something you want to abuse. This is so good. Like you might think, oh yeah, plus one plus one is not a lot. Plus one plus one to everything that you can activate multiple times is a lot. 
So yeah. Nico missed Nidalee so much. You must be so strong surviving all on your own. I am not alone, child. Be a good beast and get back in your cage. Nico does not like smelly cage or smelly mans. Nico is here. That was a mix. Well, wait, wait, that's me. Mans. What is this? What is this? Not like smelly cage or smelly mans. Yes, here we go. Uh, let's deactivate subtitles. Create an exact ephemeral copy of an ally and swap. Then swap them. Create Nico in your deck. That is. Ooh, ooh, that's a good card. That's a, I like, I like this card. Exact ephemeral copy of an ally. Can you main deck this? No, it's 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 Nico's champion. Wait, let me check something. Can you main deck this card? Nico shapeshift, shapeshift. No, it, it's it's a Nico. It's a you can only get it by having your second Nico in hand. If you could have this as a standalone unit, this would be busted. A uh, standalone card, this would be busted. It would be absolutely busted. So I understand why it's not a standalone card. But that's good. That's that's a that's an amazing champion spell. Nico is here. Are is she? Yeah. Real claws, Nidalee. See, that's my point. You can actually use it to double up on a unit. It's ephemeral, but your effects will activate. So you can use it. this spell is so good. gladly. <laughs> and when you have attack again with this, uh, Nico, Nico Champions Core. Yes, it is Nico Champions Core. Nico Gwyn viable? I have no idea. Maybe? No. No. Yes? No. So, okay. You want to go wide with Nico. You want to go wide. You want to have as many tribes as possible. That's the core of Nico's gameplay. You want to have as many tribes as possible. You want to attack with six tribes. Then you activate your Nico. And then she starts leveling up. And with each time she attacks, she gives your uh, units plus one plus one with subtype. So ideally, you want every unit in your deck to have a subtype, and then you can start shading the buffs. And then they'll start trying to kill Nico, and if you can keep your Nico alive, each attack token you can give your entire board, hand, deck, everything just plus one plus one, which is really good. Like, people discount plus one plus one, but plus one plus one everywhere is so great. This is really wonk. I like it. But again, you, you, we need to think womp, womp, womp. We need to think about how to break the chain. Okay, when you start playing card games, you need to start thinking about one thing. How do you break this game? How do you abuse every system available in the game? This is my mentality when I start playing card games. Is how can I break this game apart and use it for my own enjoyment and my opponent's suffering? So, my main ideas right now, I have two ideas. I, there's two trains of thought right now. We go, Nico, Bay. We use Vayne just for the tumble to activate Nico multiple times. Wait, we can also wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Second. It's Nico Noxus. It's Nico Noxus. 
I, I don't care. It, it, it is absolutely an Equinox. Yeah, so this card makes Nikonox as well. Because here you have like another attack. You just go Nikonox aggro. This will be the new spider aggro. Well, all spiders got rotated. So like, wait, is this? This is not an internal card. Is it? Please, standard. Fuck, it's an internal card. Okay, uh, scratch that. I'm done. I didn't know that's rotated. Wait. Yeah. Uh. There is oh, it's rotated. It's rotated. I mean, I'm used to playing this card in uh, Death of Champions, so I didn't know if it rotated or not, but it's gone. Okay, let's see. Three. No, that's one cost. That's vain. So that, that this is our main idea now for uh, giving Nico free attacks. Federal conversions will take forever to activate. Cataclysm, but it challenges, and this only activates four cats. Yeah. Uh, how? How? Anybody has any ideas how to give Nico free attacks? Like, we have Cataclysm, but this is just like a suicide Nico. And you don't really want to do that. Okay, let's think. We can go Vayne, Nico. I'm, I'm still, I'm still thinking about Vayne, Nico. And I'm still mad that, uh, my dude fall, uh, Reckoner got rooted. Welcome to stream Kano. Yeah, hi. Hi, welcome to stream Kano. I'm sorry. I'm still very much tired. Okay, let's... I'm mad. Why does they have to rotate my Fallen Reckoner? I'll, I'll break this. I'll break this card. I don't care. I fucking love her. Her everything, man. I love Nico. She's so cute. Okay. Okay. Now, now back to actually uh, reacting to shit. Let's go. Art of the Huntress. Uh, please load. Thank you very much. How viable is Nico? Nico, uh, Natalie. Nico is the intended bear. They are the intended. Bear. They are the ship. They, they are the. I, I I don't have any other joke to say, but they are the way that devs envision them. At least that's what we know. Like back when Jax got released, uh, Jax was actually intended to be played with Vayne, but he got released with Or because they they split uh, the champions throughout the three expansions. So we got Jax and Orn in one expansions, and Vayne the one after. It was uh, Vayne, Seraphine, and uh, Aatrox. Yeah, Aatrox. So we didn't know that Jax Vayne was an intended bear. But we. Uh, Nico Natalie should be the intended bear. Emphasis on should. That's what we think about. So let's go, go back through this. Uh, Nico. Origin, any shape, jungle friends. You can put bird, cat, dog, ilnok, fey, reptile, spider. What? Bird, cat, dog, ilnok, fey. Wait, wait, okay, okay. Bird, cat, dog, ilnok, fey, reptile, spider. That's seven. That is seven. Yes, I can count. Thank you very much. You will level up Nico by attacking when you have attacked with allies with 6 plus different subtypes. So you need to... No, 6 plus is 6 or... Uh, is 6 and... So you just... You need to have 6 out of the 7. So you can cut Ildok. 
I think Ilmok is a subtype you would actually want to go. Like bird, cat, dog are very good. Fake gives you a board fill. Reptile. I don't know really. Reptile. How do you use reptile? Spider is good. Their sheep and they give uh, minus damage. Also have fearsome. But yeah, I think the one the one subtype you will cut is Ilmok. And then you will use your cards to generate more stuff. Like, okay. We know we have... Oh, uh, shit. Why can't I keep this clicking? Wait. Where is it? We have Deck Hunter. Manifest a follower that has a different subtypes and allies in your play. Which is good. Like, this card will be so good. It will be so crucial uh, in playing... Uh, in leveling up your... What's her face? When she levels up, Nico becomes. Uh, well, okay, also, when you play Nico, she disguises herself as a one of three two cost followers from your origin. So she will be a random two cost follower. Or you can just play her as Nico if you want. I think you playing her as follower would actually be better. Keeping the surprise factor of having Nico as a follower is so good. But also, somebody mentions this, in a competitive play with open deck list, you will know which card is Nico, unless you pick a follower that you already have. Basically, if you pick a follower you don't have in your deck, and your opponent knows your deck card for cards, they'll be like, yeah, this is not a follower they have, that's a Nico, I'm gonna kill it. In on ladders, this is not really that big of an issue, because, uh... You, uh, you can see your opponent's deck on ladder, which is a good thing. But in high-level competitive play, like uh, opens and tournaments, this might be make Nico less fun. Unless you pick a uh, trick, unless you pick a, champ, a unit that you already have, followers that you already have. But once you have attacked with allies that have six plus different subtypes. Nico levels up to get elusive and attack grant allies that have subtype everywhere plus one plus one. I don't believe this stacks per subtype, so if you have something with two subtypes, I don't think it gets plus two plus two. I'm pretty sure. It would be worded differently, but again, right wording, so we'll. Uh, Nico shapes. Uh, Shape Splitter is a really, 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 really strong spell. That's why it's her champion spell, and she's a rune terror champion. So you you can't actually run this spell by itself. If you could run this spell by itself, you would. Like every region can use this spell, especially for three mana. That's why they limited it to when you have an eco on board and your second eco turns on, because you create an exact ephemeral copy of an ally. You summon an exact ephemeral copy of an ally, and then switch them. So you get to save your uh, ally, and you get to double up on its summon effect. Which is uh, busted. Which is, let's say, pretty busted. Like this spell, this spell is so strong. Uh, what else? Disguise. Secret creature transforms into another unit before entering play. They won't reveal their true identity to your opponent until they leave play or level up. So, when they kill your hidden Nico, they will know if she's hidden Nico. Does every Nico transform individually? Basically, you have three Nikos in your deck. Does everyone change into a different follower? That is a question I'm asking myself right now. I don't really know the answer. Because if they kill the first Nico and they like know which followers Nico is just from into, every time they see his followers, they'll just like instantly kill it. Like I'm, I'm sorry for being. I should actually turn on my uh, my background music. Because I'm, I'm deep in thought. Nico's still visible. No, it's only visible to you. Like, okay, I'm sure.
that's level up nico that's summon that is yeah see uh this here only you can see it the tail is only visible on your end your opponent cannot see the nico tail it is so this expansion gave us the bush which is a great bluff card and gave us who where the fuck is uh nico game which is also a very great buff card, uh, bluff card. This exp this expansion is really just blowing me out of the water. This expansion is so good. This is such a great expansion flavor wise and uh, mechanics wise. This is such a great expansion. Also, fuck, you can see my analytics. I hate analytics. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Bu 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 I, I want to see again how let me just okay okay very quick very quick very quick Wait, I want to see something real quick here Nico is making her own tribe now is Nico coming through Yes Nico Here is the issue does your opponent see you actually picking when you play your nico this is they shouldn't be able to see you picking when you play nico if they see you picking when you play nico that would be an issue because they would know that this is the nico like okay here you go uh bitsy lizards loris on hawk and twilight protector neither of them has any pick effects so you wouldn't really pick. So what will the opponent see when you're just like there picking? And does does it lag like does it show you playing a card and holding it or does it not show you playing a card anyways and only playing card when you pick? I I know I'm being really meticulous but when you are starting to play the bluff game, you really need to be meticulous about the shit. You really need to know what the opponent sees, how they see stuff. Like in a Hearthstone, you can actually see the card or hero power or whatever your opponent is hovering over, which is so great. Like you can see them in real time counting if they are counting for something and you know to expect something if you see them like hovering over cards. I know that because I do it all the time. Well, when, when I used to play uh, Hearthstone Competitive. So, my question is, how does your... Uh, you played Nico. You were picking a card to hide her ass. What, your opponent, what does your opponent see here? Like, what does this show from the other side? That's what I really need to know. Making her own tribe now. Also, uh, yeah, this this Nico tail you can you only you can see this I know you only you can see this Nico tail that I am absolutely sure for I'm ever sure of. Fuck English, I'm sleep deprived. English just stopped working. Also, as you can see, my voice is not really working well. Yeah, how 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 I'm I'm very curious. As to how you can. Okay, we know that we're gonna play uh, Nico Noxus Aggro. I'm doing it. I'm I'm doing it. You can't you can't stop me now. You know what? Let's check the subtypes that we have. I can hide this now. Uh, we want Spider. That is a little too little spiders, but we have Precious Spider. Anyone watch voice working? Please reboot. My voice is working. My voice is very much working. Why are you lying, kid? I have my eyes on OBS all the time, and I can see the voice working right now. Why you come to my stream? You lie to my face. Kids these days are so disrespectful. We do, Rigoshi. I haven't seen you in a while. Um. 
for spider you would play precious spider and then you uh, fear someone for dog should have english instead of voice yes english stopped working that is true that is true i'm great how about you i'm very sure in one if its voice stopped working please reboot my voice is has f fuck you fuck you my voice is working english just stopped working i have not stepped all day today okay what would you play in any codec as your dog i think buff cat bob buff cat bob is such a great dog look at him he's a good boy he's quick at that he's next to strike he, he's just strike plan three buff caps this is so great for aggro decks you can also play this because you can get the big boy later in the game if you need it we are uh rigoshi we are currently breaking down uh nico noxus aggro that we're gonna play build day this will be a day one deck so yeah uh for dog you play buff cap up and frost coat cup uh for cat what do you play for cat you can't play yordle but you can't play fate you can't play fate so you always go grandfather fate absolutely there is no way in hell you don't go grandfather play. You need to go grandfather play. You can go John Construct. Holy, this is a fake card. This is so good. You might actually run this card as one of your fake cards in Nico. It allows you to trade, and when you trade, you get a mysterious portal that can give you one extra uh, keyword. Again, you are trying to level up as fast as possible. So you can't add Yordle, but you can add Faye. So you can go Grandfather Faye, John Construct, and maybe Teammaker? I'm gonna leave my Lurker. Oh yeah, uh, do, do exclamation mark uh, Lurk, please. You'll like it. Use a command. Also, you, you can play Blast Concealing, but I don't think you, you need to play Blast Concealing. Yes. Ew. Lurk players. Uh, Ilnik. I have so many friends that actually play. This is the only Elnik in standard, really. They, they rotated every other Elnik and just gave, gave us ball Elnik. Yeah, you you, you cut them. You, you dodge Elnik. They are useless. Uh, what other pop 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 pop? What other subtypes can you add with Nico? No, we don't want this. We want that. A bird, cat, dog, Elnok, Fate, Triptile, Spider. Okay, let's see cat. No, we saw cat. I'm dumb. Uh, let's see spider. No, we also saw spider. I'm really dumb today, huh? Ah, reptile. Reptile, you brave fruit. You don't play the Island Cooper. 100%. Never. Never. You might play uh, Willy Newtfish. It's elusive, so it, it, when you level up Nico to be at 2-4, that's good stats. You can play this Bitsy Lizard. It's big. It, it, it gets really big. Like, you would play this in Nico Aggro. Uh, do you play Scaled Snapper? I don't think you do. Don't think you do. Uh, what else are we missing? A uh, bird. We didn't check birds. Actually, that's sad. We didn't check birds. Also, these are the cards that are available now. We don't know. We haven't seen the birds. No, it's just one bird. One bird. Thank you. Oh yeah, frick. This is the Anstead Clue bird. This alone, is like the one bird you will absolutely play in Nico Agro. And teeny dactyl. You can, you can run teeny dactyl. So are we? Then what? What? No, 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 no. If that's the case, it's still just. If that's the case. You're still just playing Noxus. You you also play Noxus because you want your brother's bond. You want your pirouette. 
you want your might, you want your fervor, you want the ways to end the game. You're using Nico's uh, spells, no, not Nico's spells, Nico's units and her level up to get as much damage done. Also, oh, hold, hey, look, uh, that's uh, uh, one of Nico's kind. That's Donnie. That's Danny. He's cute. Adorable. Love him. Love him. So cute. Look at him. Look at my little war criminal. Oh my god, I love him so much. Anyways, you want to use uh, Nico's units and her level up to get as much damage done early on, and then you switch on to your good old, good old Noxus. Be beautiful stuff. Like, come, come on, come on. Reveler's Feast. This is amazing. This card is actually amazing for Nico. Because you want your wide to, to your board to be absolutely white, and then you just ping something with three HP. You have Nico. She levels up. She gives everything plus one plus one. This gives everything plus two plus two. Then you attack. Let's say you attack with six whites. This makes sure your six whites is uh, and one of them is Nico. Uh, your six white will have plus three plus three. This is plus three times six. That's eighteen more damage. Levels Nico, full board, Reveler's Feast. If everything has a subtype, and ideally everything will have a subtype, this is plus 18 damage. Insane. Just say, just, just say, insane. Like, don't take my word for it. Uh, I'm, I'm just like the, the aggro connoisseur. Okay, now we can. We're done with Nico. She. This champion is so good. I, I love Nico so much. From flavor of wise but i'm i'm beyond floored like beyond between this spell this design i'm i'm really 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 excited to try and go out okay now let's actually see the card because i didn't check yesterday's cards why didn't i check yesterday's cards i was busy that's all i'm gonna say i really want to sleep man i'm really tired okay runaway scrap bot heck one 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 brash. One 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 brash. It's a deck. It's a brash, but it's a deck. I mean, you can use her with French fries. I mean, you 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 can use it with French. Where is it? Give me give me a sec. Yeah. Uh. Noxus, it's in Belvoir. Okay, you can use it with French fries to give everything a uh, brash, but I I don't know. Uh, is it worth your uh, one mana? Is it worth a card slot in your deck? Is it worth a card slot that you can use other stuff? Nico, so let's go. She is adorable. You have no idea. I I don't know about this card. It's it's funny. The flavor is funny. It's so good. I love the flavor. It's just I don't know about it. Epic screw. To play, spend all your mana. Summon a runaway scrap bot and throw it stats. Gentlemen, how okay? That's. It doesn't have a gem. I'm dumb. Sorry. 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 I'm 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 dumb. I don't see a gem. I'm like, yeah, you can run this card, but no, you don't actually need to run this card. You can just run this. Okay, this is much more exciting. <laughs> you wouldn't run your runaway scrap bot. Or a scrap trap. Why am I calling it scrap trot? I don't know. I need more water, man. Uh, this stream is already just going off the rails. You would play this card in a Heimer uh, control. In a Heimer deck. You would. You get a very big scrap bot, and you get a, a very big, um, what's his name, uh, tech bot unit from Heimerdinger. You can double this up with your Jace. You can do a lot of stuff in, in the Jace Heimer deck. Is it a broken card? No, I don't think it's broken, because you get one unit instead of, like, getting multiple, so, okay. Is the other the cards I'm comparing this with is this production surge. To place build all your mana, summon a random turret whose 
uh, summon random turrets whose total cost is equal to the mana spent. You get multiple units. So you go white for one card. Uh, it, this is the exact opposite. Well, this is the same, but it also goes exact opposite when you go tall. Uh, in card games, there are uh, two concepts of going white versus going tall. Going tall is basically making one big unit. Going white is making a lot of units and making them big. So it's between going wide and going tall. This card can see a lot of play. I don't know which one will be better. I don't play that much Heimer Jace. It's too boring for me. I hate it. Control is boring. I'm saying it. But like, yeah, this card's good. He wouldn't run this one by himself, but like, this card's good. Also, Brash. Brash is so good. Like, you can guarantee that this card hits face. Just say. Sump Monument. This card... You know what? I have a lot of stuff to say about this card. I'm skipping it for now. Age of Dragons. For the top 9 cards in your deck, draw each dragon. Reduce the cost to... What? What? Uh, cut, cut, cut the music. Cut, cut the music. Cut, cut the music. What, 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 what? For the 9... For the top 9 cards in your deck. Draw each dragon, and reduce your cost to zero this round, then shovel the rest into your deck. We're talking about a usual 5 dragon bowl, so you have 5 dragons that cost zero. This round, but again, you're, all, you're playing all malls this round. You're playing them this round anyway. So for 12 mana, you get, they get, on average, 5 dragons. They can high roll, get 9 dragons. They can uh, low roll, get like 2 dragons. I don't think you any deck that runs Age of Dragons would run that many spells or that many non-dragons that this card would whiff. Especially if they, if their gameplay, game plan is playing this card. Like, if their plan is all just playing Age of Dragons and winning with it... Okay, this card is really interesting. From a counter creator standpoint, this card is so freaking good. You can get some very great videos with this card. From a competitive player standpoint, I don't know if this card is that great. It's it's 12 mana. It's a field of rush. L let's, let's just face it. Like, look, look at me, look at my eyes, and tell me this is not a field of rush. This is a field of rush. This is a, I play my big unit, I win the game. This is that if you let me play this game until I can play my big spell, I win. I can overwhelm you with value in one turn and you can do nothing about it. Yeah, this card is actually, it's just feels a rush. Are we about to see the dragons come back? But like, let's remember that what made feels a rush so powerful is that it was in uh, Frelly Order. And Freljord can ram. So Freljord gets time to ram the ram up the field rush really quickly. In contrast, Nargon cannot ram. And, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, my throat is hurting. Nargon cannot ram, but Targon can heal. Dragons are usually Targon Tamasia. Targon Tamasia can heal and can control the deck in a mid rangey way. So yeah, it, 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 it just feels a rush. It, it's just a feels a rush. Man, I love this card. This card is so good. You can get so much. You The, the amount of videos I can make out of this one card is so insane. Like, you can get so many insane clips with this card. It, it's so good. I'm, I'm still saving this one for last. I have I have stuff to say about this card. I I have a lot of stuff to say about this card. Uh, Star-crossed lovers, play, recall an ally and grant it my stance. Oh yeah, she's taking the the, the arrow for him. Recall an ally and grant it my stance. So, uh, what decks use this card? Uh, think, think. What decks would use this card? Stuff to buff. 
what would you like to buff anyways? Like, what, what would you like to recall to buff? What would you like to recall to buff? And what do, what, what, which card don't you actually mind picking back up? From, yeah, they, they are, these are the two from the Dragon video, yes. It's them. It's the Lunari and the Solari. This is uh, Lunari Soldier? No, it's the Lunari Infiltrator. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, Nightfall. I, I know she's a Nightfall. Get... Shit. This one goes over now. I want, I want to do that. Yeah, this is uh, Lunari Sheetstalker. Again, you, you gotta give kudos to the freaking team. They make some amazing cards and then give them freaking lore and shit. It's it's so good. I love this game so much. Uh, ba, 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 which I'm I'm still trying to think. You, you wouldn't play this in two two. You would you ideally want to buff it? Like you want this card to be big. You want your star-crossed lovers to be big to turn something else big but then you're playing uh, you're playing your cards that you recalled again like i can imagine this getting played in elusive aggro simply because you don't mind playing your elusive units again okay because hear me out your elusive units are really cheap anyways so you're not minding playing uh one and a uh, one mana again, a one mana unit again. Now that it has plus two, plus two, or it was already buffed. Yeah, the recall is the weird part. The recall makes this card really interesting. But then, even when you recall this card, you still end up with a big unit on board, given how you buff your Starcross lovers. So it's not really okay. So even when you recall, you don't get that much of a value loss. You get the tempo loss, but you don't get a value loss because let's say this becomes a five-five. You play five-five for three. You recall a unit into your hand. You can you still need to play it. You still need to use your mana to play the unit again that you recalled. But it's a mana. It's a it's a unit with plus five plus five, and you still have your five-five uh, on board. So you're losing some tempo, but you're, you're gaining value. Yeah, this card is good. Um, I don't know, man. Like, this expansion keeps getting all the right cards every time. I don't even know how they do it. How they manage to never miss with these cards, but they, do, they are not missing. Legend of Runeterra devs are not missing. This card is great. I don't know how to pick it. This card is actually really good. I love it. Uh, portal Scholar. So fucking cute. It's a little mousy. When I'm summoned, blend a mysterious portal in the top four cards of your deck. When you summon a created ally, grant it M. Hmm. Grant it impact. When you summon a created ally. So, this is... A Nora aggro support and a Faye support and a Yordle support and a Tristana support. This is this card. So here's the thing. Uh, this reminds me of this card. You might look at it and be like, yeah, it has husks. This is so. This is a husk card, but in reality, it's also a reverse draw card. Because do, 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 who's this? Evers. Because uh, Bilgewater has a one cost uh, th uh, brick archetype that they play. So this card gets activated in Husks and Reaver's Row. And Portal Scholar gives me the same vibes. That it, it works with so many decks and it, it complements so many archetypes. Yeah, you can actually see it on, on Twitter. I will link it to you. It's so good. Also, I can actually see, I can actually give it up now. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I can give you the, uh, the full art uh, card art. 
I'm getting the art for my wife because she's amazing. Up, 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 up. New cards. Yeah, I can I can change it now. Here we go. Give me a sec. Nidalee, Vestayan, it should be around here somewhere. All seeing Oracle, yeah, here we go. Portal Scholar. It's a mousey mouse. But yeah, uh, back to my uh, main point. This card is so good because. This card is so good because it complements aggro. As in you, because you play a lot of creative cards in Fey, Fey creates cards like as a Lucifer and the wait, let me, if, is, what is it called again? Just, just Fey. So, Vandal Commando creates owl cats. Grandfather Fey creates owl cats. John Constructs makes a portal that creates a unit. Uh, what else? Keymaker creates a unit. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Grandfather Faye. Father. Grandfather Faye. No, not Grandfather Faye. Uh, Mayor. Shit. I keep getting that confused. May, may, mayor. Mayor. Yes. See? English is not that hard. I'm just dumb. So, yeah, this also creates a card. So, this. This unit works with so many archetypes. I'm really excited for this one. But again, this expansion is just one hit after the other. It's insane. It, it is absolutely insane. Also, you, you get a mysterious portal on top of that. Like, you get this upside, and you get a portal. This is so good, man. Okay, return a wrench. When I'm discarded, equip me to a random unequipped ally. Only they didn't thicken, rotate, rumble. Only they didn't thicken, rotate, rumble. This is such a good rumble card. This is such a good rumble card. But what else would you like to discard? Like this, this gives plus. Okay, here's the thing. This is a return wrench. This is a play on, uh, on words because it's supposed to be a boomerang. Every time you discard it, you equip it on a on a unit, and then when that unit dies, it comes back in hand. You can discard it again, equip it back on a unit. So this is a basically a self-fulfilling discard fodder. Why is it not in uh, BNZ? It would absolutely break. This card alone would absolutely make BNZ super busted. So they couldn't give it to BNZ. So they gave it to Bilgewater. Uh, what BNZ Bilgewater decks can people play nowadays? Um, well, Bilgewater, BNZ, Discord. Because they took away our Rumble. I'm, I'm, I'm so mad that they gave us this card and just took away Rumble and since they gave us this card and like now there's no Rumble because I could have just like, used this card on my Rumble. It's, it's, I'm mad. Uh, but okay, let me just check real quick. Uh, pop. This card. Not anywhere. Panel City. Scrabby Borto Palooza. You still have the... You still have like the most oh rabbit rest in peace allure. But you still have most of your mecha yordle base here. But yeah, you still have your mecha yordle base. Of Scrappy, Electro Harpoon, Scrab Heads, Weaker, Rat. You can still make a mecha yordle deck without rumble, but it just feels Wrong play Mecha Yordles without Rumble in my humble in my humblest of opinions I'd refuse to play Mecha Yordles without Rumble. But this card is really good. This this card is is great. My only uh, annoyance is that it's not in build PNZ, but it would make PNZ absolutely unplayable. It also gives uh impact. So that's one extra damage. 
your you, this card is usually pretty aggro so like that's one extra damage that's an upside so you get a refillable reusable never-ending chain of discard fodder and an impact you get to discard and deal damage so good Oh, furious flux that's a, that's the last card of yesterday I, I didn't react to yesterday's card so let, let's see when i'm summoned grant other allies ha that have subtypes plus one plus one and impact see see nico when she levels and at like every attack after she levels up she gives allies with subtypes plus one plus one they make a seven mana bird that gives plus one plus one and impact to your units on the board, not even not even everywhere. Which is just just the units on the board. That's how good plus one plus one is. And I mean impact. Impact is also plus one damage. Plus one unblockable damage because they block. Impact goes through. That's still one damage. You know what I mean. But yeah, this card seven mana, seven mana, seven mana. So oh, that's much fluff, so fluffy. I mean, uh, you should you should actually see this. I don't think you've, you've seen this. You should see Nico's art. Here we go. Yeah, you should see Nico's art. You, you have not seen Rico's art. Uh, she's just like swimming in fluff. But uh, I don't. Is seven mana enough? Is seven mana. Well, seven mana is good for the card, but seven is seven mana good enough in this deck? You need to break this down as well. Very interesting. And very boring. I'm I'm sorry I'm boring you all. I'm, I'm just like really focusing on the competitive side right now. Seven mana. Can you afford to play a seven mana card? In this deck. I mean, we still don't know how Nico decks will shape out. We, we just don't know. So for me, I'm thinking about Nico, uh, Nico aggro. Would you play a 7 mana card in Nico aggro? You would not. You, you would not. I cannot play this. Uh, if we play Nico aggro uh, Noxus, I cannot play this card. Uh, not, not, not the Nico aggro. A fluffy one. A fluffy one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the fluff? It should be around here somewhere. It should be around here somewhere. Oh god, I, I, I lost the fluff. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Ferocious fluffs. They, they are actually going to save Nico. Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh my god. That's so cute. Unfortunately for this crew of Beethoven Butchers, they only look harmless. I, I love this expansion so much, you have no idea. As a nature, uh, as a nature lover, this expansion just brings me so much joy. Uh, but so many fluffs. So they are Nico's family. They are going to protect her. That's the point. Oh damn, that's cute. In this video, the last video I re I whined about uh, Ionia. This video, I'm just like fawning over cute animals and aggressive uh, tactics in video games. <clears throat> but I don't think I you can play this card in Nico Noxus Aggro. I don't think this is playable in Nico Noxus Aggro. I think it might be playable in Nico Nidalee. Nico Nidalee looks so much better for this card. Yeah, I, I believe this card would be playable in Nico Nidalee. And then we have the, this insane spell that's so good which is actually Nico's shape is better Nico's uh, region 
level up Nico, level one Nico. So uh, let's talk about this card now. Um, let's talk about this card now because this card is something. If your Nexus would take non-poison buff cap damage, your opponent plants four poison buff caps in your deck for each damage instead. Which is insane. This card buys you so much time that you can do. I'm finally catching a stream. Hell yeah, Harnarshus, how you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a, a sleeping stream because I'm very tired and my throat hurts. And I can't drink tea. If I drink tea, I'll sleep. Yeah, glad you're doing okay. We're uh, reacting to some new cards. Seen your take on Twitter on, on on what on what? This is this is such a wide variety of takes. My takes can be like this card game is good, or it can be like very bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, a new Niji Weave game yesterday. I have been clipping them all day. I'm almost done. Yes, uh, if you don't know, I'm a professional Nishi Sanji Clipper. That's what I do. Yeah, bad take. Bad take. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just like... Really... Inappropriate. Again, I said I would take a British person, but like French is kind of too. French is a second worst. Japan really don't care. Yes, I don't. I mean, we knew Nishisanji doesn't care because we have Ibrahim, who is like a, a Saudi uh, archetype, stereotype, just like being played by a Japanese person who can't even speak Arabic. So we knew it. I knew it was bad, and I knew it was bad the moment I saw the design. And knowing we have no, he's full Japanese. He is full. I did see. See, here's the thing. I did. I I knew already that it was this bad. So I was like, I saw the design. I was like, this is gonna be terrible. They're gonna bring some uh, foreigners that doesn't care about the. Go back to guard reviews. No, I want to rant now. You made me rant. See, this is why I don't do streams when I'm tired because I'll start ranting and I can't stop. Anyways, uh, dang it, alright, yeah, it, 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 it's accidentally bad. No, it's fine. It's fine. Mostly my fault for not sleeping today, and having to stream today. Do we get the next champion tomorrow? No, we get the next champion the day after. Don't know. Maybe we get the next champion tomorrow. I mean, this is like the large bulk of all the cards really, uh, leaked. Anyways, this card is so good. So, we have to do some math here. Let's do some theoretical math. We do Kimo. Timo, when he next strikes, he blends five poison buff caps. So Timo attacks, deals one damage, then blends five poison buff caps. Five champions are they adding? Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not spoiling that one. I refuse to spoil you the last champion, but it will be very great. It will be so good, and this will be such a big like they will call uh, the entire LOR community out with that last champion. Because we all wanted the last champion to be real, so they made it like a fable. They made it a, basically a child's tale. It, it will be. I will go in depth when when they release the last champion. I will. I promise. But anyways, Timo on average deals one point five damage each attack. Five poison buff caps. I on average will activate one of them. Or, or 0.5. So let's say on average, you activate 0.5. Get back into this. You should. This expansion is so good. Uh, we're having. We have phase down cards now. 
we have face down car face 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 down car. where's the bush where's the bush yeah we have a bush up uh, uh shadows and brush which is like you can play other cards as a brush and like your opponent wouldn't know and then you play uh the spells that you get when you play the unit in a brush and you can turn it into that unit like you can play this towering um so how it works you play this for example this towering by frost as a brush you only use two mana a brush is two mana you only use two mana to play it face down and then you get your spell that's five mana you can play five mana transform your brush into the towering by front at burst speed anytime you want it is so insane also now we have nico which is just like she on the beginning of the game she transforms into a, a two drop a two drop follower from the regions you have so like one of your followers will be nico and your opponent will have no idea your opponent will stand there shaking their head unable to know which unit is nico it it's really is the absolute loveliest expansion we've ever had <coughs> god my throat is coming in. Anyways, uh, ads, ads, let me, ads starting soon, yeah, okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna shut up because ad break. We love Nico here, we all love Nico here. Nico is awesome, and she's cute. Okay, uh, Twitch, Twitch is running ads, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I will shut up until ads, well, when, when are ads starting, dude? Hey, Roger, yes. That, that is the point. I'm gonna uh, run ads and I will not say anything uh, of value as the ads run. So don't don't worry about it. I'm just sitting here drinking water. God, my throat is killing me. No, I, I think not showing Nico at the start of the game would be bad. Like, if your opponent doesn't know that your deck runs Nico. Well, your opponent will quickly figure it out because you will have a lot of subtypes and not a lot of cohesion uh, when it comes to your regions. Unless you're actively trying to um, spook them out, but I think not letting your opponent know what they're queuing up into will be bad. Like, it will actively just be a little too toxic. Like the mechanic of hiding her as a follower is already kind of toxic. But like, it's good toxicity for the game. It it opens a lot of leeway and room for bluffing and mind games. <clears throat> uh, up 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 up! My throat is killing me today. Ah, god damn it. That was absolutely disgusting. So yeah, uh, not knowing that you're playing against an Nico will actively be bad. Not knowing which follower is an Nico, that's a good one. That's a good stuff. She will turn into a true cost with a subtype, so I think we can accurately map out all the two cost she can turn into. No, it's it's a two cost from your origin. No, no, from her origin. So like yeah, it'll be a two cost with a subtype. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look into it. <clears throat> but again, she will not be the best in tournament format because in tournament format it's usually open deck list. And your opponent will be able to know which units you don't have in your pack. You run all aggro you followers and then your opponent sees a weirdly suspicious Twilight Protector. So it's like, yes, yeah, this doesn't belong to the deck. And it... Oh, sorry. Sorry, I had to cough here. Oh god, my but yeah, uh, your opponent will see a weird Twilight Protector that either doesn't belong in this deck or just is not on the deck list. So they will immediately know, yeah, that's an eco. 
which also opens a room for bluffing where you put weird uh, two cost units in your deck just to bluff basically you run your deck with a with a few odd two cost units with subtypes just to throw them off the face of nico like cards that do not belong in your deck so they'd be like yeah that's probably an eco but no it's not a that is a smart idea so they waste all the resources killing the fake nico while your other nico is hidden among the cards that belong in your deck smart idea i'm smart i come up with some good ideas anyways some monument if your nexus would take non poison buff cap damage basically if your opponent is dealing damage to your nexus your opponent plants four poison buff caps in your deck for each damage instead so <clears throat> we opened up timo and we said that timo on average deals 1.5 damage on average if the game doesn't go along very well uh, uh, this game doesn't go along very well. Not long game. Thank you. God, English is so hard today, especially when I can't talk with you. Oh, oh, it's over. Anyways. Okay, give me Okay. Okay, okay, back. My throat is gone. We need to wrap this up really quick. Uh, some monument, on average, will deal, four, uh, will deal 0 0.4 damage. To your nexus for each damage taken so like you're cutting the damage taken by half and you're it, uh, extending the game for a price here's the thing you get to extend the game as long as you want for a price the buff caps will eventually tally up you will eventually die to the buff caps you cannot do anything about it but you get to make the game longer which is really like this card is absolutely brilliant and I love it. This card is if you want the game to go a little bit longer, you can use me, but at a cost. Like yes, eventually you will use this card and you will draw every single buff caps in your deck and you will die. It will happen. This is an integral part of RNG. It will happen. You will get this weird game where every single time you take damage. Buff caps go straight to the top of your deck and you draw it immediately. Or exactly said as well. Like, do not mess with RNG, it will fuck you up. But this card, especially in BNZ, and we're talking about BNZ as the combo region. Like we're talking about Ezreal bullshit go type of combo. Like burst you down from 20 type of combo. This card gives these decks the much needed way to extend the game just to win like if you are reliant on hitting a specific turn where you can if you make it to that turn you win this card is just busted I'm, I'm saying that this card is absolutely busted because it allows you to extend the game for that one turn where you get to bob off and kill your opponent like this card with uh if Ezreal didn't rotate like Rest in peace, Ezreal, you will forever be missed by my little yellow twink. If this card was around, would Ezreal be around? This would make Ezreal Seraphine a much bigger threat than it already was. And it was a very fucking big threat. This card in B and Z alone allows you to, again, here's the thing. It allows you to extend the games. It allows you to buy time at a cost. So, the brilliance of this card is, you get to buy time. But eventually, the fucking Faustian deals that you are doing, and yes, I'm calling it a Faustian deal, will bite you in the butt. Because eventually, they will either kill this landmark. Is it in the game anymore? Yes, uh, Ezreal got rotated to Eternal. Uh, oh yeah, you didn't, you, you are around this game. Uh, basically, we have two modes now, we have Standard and we have Eternal. Which is in in Hearthstone terms, it's basically normal and a wild. Is it wild? Is it wild? What's it called in in Hearthstone again? Wild. Yes, it, it's wild. I, I watch a lot of wild streamers. 
So yeah, uh, Ezreal is in Eternal. Wait, oh, it's in Spain. Yeah, there's no standard. He's in Eternal. Look at him. Look at him. I miss him already. I miss you, my boy. Uh, but yeah, uh, this was good for the game. So they basically rotated every every super strong, super oppressive card, and just like auto include cards that just made the game worse onto Eternal to make the game fresher and to keep the power level in check. Basically, to make sure the game is balanced. That's why rotation is good. Rest in Eternal. Shut up. Shut up. You you do not use freaking yep. my wife, everybody. My wife, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> but yeah, the beauty of the Song Monument is you get to extend the game at a cost. You get to extend the game as long as you freaking want. But eventually, you will pay the price. It's all about how long can you wait until you pop off before you pay the price. And I really love the design. That this is my point here is that the design of this card is super great. I'm not talking about the flavor. I'm talking about the design of it. Because eventually you will have the game where you place some monument and every single buff cap goes to the top of your deck. And your opponent will eventually have the game where they play against somebody who places a monument and every single buff cap goes to the bottom of their deck. So no matter how much damage they deal, they don't draw any buff caps, especially if you don't draw any draw. But here's the thing, if you're playing some monument, you want to run draw because you're looking for a specific card base. Like you're looking for a specific combo and you want to get it as fast as possible. So you're running draw. But you're running draw, so you're running the risk of drawing more of your poison buff caps. So again, okay, this is such a very, very hard to test in a vacuum. In a vacuum, it's brilliant. In a vacuum, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at this, it's, it's a really brilliant card. In practice, it might be the auto-include of BNC. It might be the one BNC card that you put in every single deck in BNC and just like roll with it. Yeah, you, you face a lot of aggro, just play some monument and don't draw the, the cards. Easy. Like, even if it's, like, not against, uh, what's it, not as a comp, freaking, English is not working today, I'm very sorry, I'm, I'm about to pass out here, you have no idea, you have no idea how tired I am there currently, but, even if you're not a, con a combo deck, you can just play it to negate damage, that's it, you're just playing this one more, uh, landmark to negate damage, and then you continue your game as normal, oh yeah, they're attacking, yeah, it doesn't matter, also, you will run into the, the bad misfortune of having of playing this card into a Timo Heathlin deck and you'll absolutely just lose your mind and lose the game. It will happen again. Like you gotta you gotta understand that every bad thing in card games that can happen will happen eventually and have happened in a in an alternate universe or some shit. I don't know, I'm not a, a quantum physicist, I'm a fucking biologist. Yeah. This, this card is so good. I love this card so much. The design, okay, the design of the cards of this expansion is ours. It's so good. Oh, they gave us dragon. Uh, what's it called? Heals a rush. They gave us uh, Heimer Ghost All. They gave us this fucking monstrosity that I absolutely despise. Why? Why did they give us this? Why? Why is this? Why is this a card? Again, I saw this card before and I was like, yeah, that looks like a, a, a wacky, kooky uh, custom card. Whoever made it is like really smart. They are just highlighting the worst things about Ionia. And then I found out that it was a real card that was a leak. Like this was the one of the cards that I did with Cutting Dodge in a leak. And I will forever bitch about it. Also, uh, about Nico Agro. Like, let, let's go back to Nico Agro for a second. We have the own high tritail. I think this would be the top end of the deck. 
when I'm summoned, grant me plus one plus one for each different subtypes other allies have. Yes, this card it would be amazing. Left counter play. Narcissus, I am so disappointed. I'm I'm super disappointed. There is a lot of disappointment right now. There is a huge level of disappointment going. But yes, this will be the top end of Nico Agro decks. This will be the mid end of Nico Agro decks. If you have uh, an ally with a different subtypes than me, give an enemy minus one, minus zero, minus two, minus zero this round. This is a good one. Uh, what else is there? There's one card I think. The counter is just super great. You will play this almost all the time. I want. I wonder about something. If Nico turns into a counter, she she functions as she functions. English, please work. My throat hurts. I'm tired. I haven't slept all day. Please work. Okay. Uh, I wonder if she functions as a deck hunter herself. So like, if she, Nico is hiding as one of these, where she manifests the follower, she should. Because when she was hiding as a When she was hiding, here we go. As Twilight could protect her, she gave herself the Daybreak buff. As you can like, look here. That's two two. She gave herself the day buff as a the daylight buff as a Twilight protector. So whenever, whatever unit she turns into, she turns into whole heart. Like y you will have that unit. Which again makes running random two costs with subtypes in your deck really a smart idea. You just play a one or two two costs that don't quite fit in. Like again, here Twilight Protector. If you run your own Twilight Protector outside, like just as a bird, if you're running Twilight Protector just as a bird, as a bird act, your opponent will get really suspicious about that card. Like. Why is this card here? This must be Nico. Let's kill it. Again, and every single resource you make them put towards a fake Nico is a resource that's just not going to be put against the real Nico. This is my point. Do I have anything else that I want to say? Yeah, fuck this card. Yeah, this card's nuts. Yeah, I have no idea how to fix this one. No, I should be talking about the, the new cards. Okay, I will, I will talk about the new cards. I don't know if this is better than the other one. I don't know if it's better than the other one. This card can be either the most broken BNZ card this expansion or just a great beast for combo like this can be an auto i can see it as an auto include in every single bnc deck i can it depends on the meta but it can very much be just an auto include we love dragons better not get me into runeterra i mean if you want to get into runeterra i can offer you free uh fuck free coaching from the top player in egypt just saying Best player in the country. Be coaching lessons. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, we, we have lesbians now. We have two pairs of lesbians. We have two pairs of lesbians. You better just start playing. We have two freaking pairs of lesbians. We have jungle lesbians here as Nico and Nidalee that have their own theme song. You know what else do we have? Wait, let me, let me just pick up. From someone else. Yeah, we have two pairs of lesbians. Yes, we have Nico. We have uh, Nico in Italy, and then we have uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? It's, I know they're both Targonians, so you know what? I'm just gonna pick Targon. And we have Diana and Leona. See, see, I remembered. Not not Kim, Leona. Well, protector one. Yes. And, and Leon and Diana, yes. We have two pairs of lesbians. How can how the fuck can you say no to that? We have lesbians. Come on, let's go.
Come on, join us. Join us. It's a fun game. It, it's a fun game, but I'm, I'm not gonna twist your. I'm not gonna twist your ankle. I know you love playing zoomer games like Fortnite, EU Fortnite, and you love playing walking simulators like Apex. Legends. Okay, hear me out. I will play FPS with you if you play Resident Evil with me. Here we go. We forget Game Boy. Yes, we also have Game Boy. We also have Game Boy. I don't like Apex. I mean, I I prefer Apex. I I much 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 prefer a Apex over uh, Fortnite, but that is a personal opinion that I am willing to fight for. Excuse me, I will play Apex over Fortnite any day of the week. I used to play Apex on the which it which is it? Oh, on season one actually back in 2018. Wow, 2018 Chum time sure flies. I don't have space in my PC for Apex, so I just like I'm not opening that kind of worms. The amount of stuff I would have to delete just to install Apex is just like saddening. But yes, I will play FPS games with you if you play card games with me. Come on. Even though I can't aim for shit. Okay, let's let's agree to play Valorant. How's that? I, I will meet you in the middle. We play Valorant. And yes, we, we forgot about uh Kate Lai. Wait, uh Kate. Fine, valid is yes, okay, fine. I will see that I have space to install Valos somewhere on my PC. Which will be hard, but I will see it done. But then you will have to play card games with me, I'm telling you right now. You're joining us. You're joining our card game cult. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. I have an. NA account already. I already have an NA account. I use it to uh, enroll into NA tournaments in Northern Tournament. So we can use that, yes. But yeah, this. this what else? Uh, Dragons getting a win con. Dragons getting a, a super big win con is super great. And again, unlike, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Feel the Rush was so good in Freljord because they could ramp into it. Age of Dragons is so good in Targon because they can sustain into it. Like, they're not getting it faster, but they're getting it. They are living until they get it. You cannot aggro down Dragon. Dragons is such a good mid-range deck that you cannot aggro them down before they get Age of Dragons and you just like hope when they get it, uh, if they get it. And they sh they absolutely will. Hope that when they get it, they whiff. You just like pray for every god in heaven that every card in the top 9 cards in the decks, none of them are dragons. Like you have 4 spells, uh, 3 Damasian units, and like I don't know, uh, 2 Dragonian units. Four spells, three and two. That's yes, that's nine. That nine, four, three, seven, two, nine. Yes, that's nine. Fuck, I can't count. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I excuse it. Wow, I am tired. This card is good. I don't know which card. This card will see play in a combo deck, and it will be super busted in that one combo deck. But otherwise, it won't see much play. I'm calling it now. I, I know a good card when I see it. This card opens up possibilities for so many cards. This card opens up possibility for uh, Agro Nora. Okay, oh. Ren sent me something. Let me check. Let me check. Ren sent me something. I remember. What was it? Yeah, it was Nidalee Norheimerdinger. Uh, it was Kryn Bits on YouTube. He's, he's, a cool, he's a great guy. He's such a freaking sweetheart. He's a sweetheart in hell. This card is so good in the deck he's building. I'm, I'm gonna send it to you. Wait, let, let me just copy card. Can I copy card? I can't. I can't. I'm just gonna, just gonna do this. I'm 
smart. I just boost up. Here we go. I'm gonna get two Kryn, so I don't forget later. Let's go. This card is so good. I love it. I, I love so many. Like, this expansion is having so many. Like, okay, look. This is like. This is value and a half. This is a, a great card. Like, this is just a good card. It gives you constant discard fodder. Over and over and over again. And you get plus one damage from the impact. Over and over and over again. It's cute and it's great. See, 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 here's the thing. I, can, I can't. I can't. This card, ha this expansion has so many good cards and so, like, the bad cards so far, the, the very bad card. Absolutely do not play this card. This card is absolutely trash. It's like this one dude. The, uh, the one the one bad card's expansion is just like this one dude. And he's an epic, so we, we know that he is bad. Epics are either absolutely broken or just trash. That's how this game is. Epics are the most polarizing card. That's the only bad card, this expansion, so far. Everything else can be used, if not being super great. Like, Big Game Tycoon is super sl slow, but once you introduce uh, Condense, this card becomes super great. You will have a 1 mana card that just... Like, you waste a turn, but you have a 1 mana card to double up your stuff. If he, if he survives and you play the 1 mana card, then you can just double double. Can you double? I, I think you can double them. Which is four times. Four times that health and power. Which when you add this bad boy, gets really fun. It goes to 12, from 12 it goes to 40. No, it goes to 24. Which is just like 24 damage overwhelm. This is almost a, a cat. That's a, almost a catastrophe. Around flip, I here's the thing. I really don't know what to say. I'm supposed to be like, wow, this card, this expansion is great. This is the best expansion I've ever seen. Holy fuck! And I make like a YouTuber face, thumbnails and shit. But I'm I'm genuinely just like absolutely stunned by how good this expansion. Flavor one, introducing bushes and uh, Nico. Nico got translated super well into the, the game. Like, the amount of creativeness in the team is absolutely stunning. This is why I love the games. This game is actually, between being a great free to play friendly game, I'm actually a pay to play friendly person myself when I love the game. Like, I pay for the battle pass and stuff simply because I love the game so much. Like, I don't need the resources. They get great lore, they absolutely care about every single little detail in the game, they make some amazing art, they make some wonderful voice action, uh, acting and dance, uh, interactions, it's just like, man I love this game so much. Yes, that's why I'm uh, introducing all of you to the cult of uh, Ninja. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. But yeah, that's that's all I have to say. Insane cards, yeah, absolutely insane. But the only meh card is Epic Scrab, Scrab, this this thing, Epic Scrab, Epic something, Epic Scraps. Yes, I can't spell. I'm sorry. I'm tired. This is this is the excuse I'm gonna use today that for me not being unable to spell. I'm tired. Last stream. I, I, I was sick. Next stream, I don't know. Uh, my throat will be bad. I, I will find an excuse to be unable to spell next stream. 